yours. Oh, 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 oh. wanna be yours. Oh, wanna be yours. I think that's very fitting for reading YM stories. Very, 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 wanna, very, be very, very, very. wanna be yours. Wanna be, wanna be, wanna be. Do, 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 yeah! Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing yet another installation of our Reading Your Why and Delusional Crazy. This came straight out of our rom com Wapat esque story times. I went on my Instagram story and I asked you guys, hey, give me your stories. You have 24 hours. I post it on my Instagram story usually, and basically it gives you guys 24 hours to tell me your juiciest stories. But this time I don't, don't ever well, do that again. This well, time I decided to actually open up to my YouTube as well. I did a little YouTube post with the link to do the stories. Which is crazy because like and no one cares. Anyways, one of the things we're gonna read you guys your stories. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? Yeah. <laughs> yes, like okay, so I think I'm in love. Basically, my school is private, and I'm Delulu. It's a, it's an Islamic school, so it's all husbands material and potential i was looking around in a building trying to get to my locker and was really loud with my friend so i guess it was attention grabbing i grabbed his attention tall funny smart glasses longish curls sharp jaw six foot arab and east african <laughs> like what he said it's crazy because you're louder than the love i have for you <laughs> <laughs> he just insulted you <laughs> I just paused fully, like, what? I just stood there, and he goes, what? Is that surprising? And tilts his head with that little smirk. <laughs> <laughs> I just paused and giggled and walked off. After school, I was at my locker, and me and my friends were talking really loud, and I felt a tap on my shoulder. So I thought it was her, and so I go, bro, what? Really loud, but no, it wasn't her. He, go he goes, bro, watch your tone. <laughs> and, and pins me to the locker. Islamic school, right? I screamed like this isn't even a joke. I watched my tone. I was like, this is an Islamic school. What are you doing? And he rings my dad right there. I don't know how he got my dad's number. Maybe because his dad's a teacher. Him and my dad went on FaceTime and started howling. Bro. <laughs> Wait, why am I gonna like it? What? We lost the plot like no, 50 times. This is the plot, and I'm liking the plot, girl. Watch your tone around me, and then pinned her to the locker. And then if a boy me ever told me to watch my tone, no, or valid. said that my right. speaking is louder than his love, mm. what? Why should anything be louder than he his love? He said her speaking, his love. Mm -hmm. The story may sound fake, but it's real. So in 2021, I met this guy because he did an internship at my sister's school. One time, me and my sister were at a kebab stand and we're getting some for our family. And my sister was standing outside because she did not have a mask. When I came out with the kebabs, my sister stared at me and was really shocked. And I was oblivious asking her what was going on she then told me that in the bus that drove by while i was in the store there was a guy with his friends and when he saw me and my sister he looked really shocked and started telling his friends as me and my sister were walking to our bus station we were talking about the guy when i was home he texted me that when his bus stopped he ran out of the bus to see me but he never saw me and i was getting in the bus but then he saw me in the store he pressed the stop button and literally ran to what see me what the hell <laughs> What no. if you just so, write? Okay, so Someone you were in the store English. and he was in the bus and then he wasn't in the guy, bus. guy, how does he have and your he number? And he pushed the stop button and, and he's he started random, talking and about your friend. Nowhere, but then he like, DM'd what? you because he saw that he DM'd you that he saw you and he pressed the like, stop okay, button. Okay, girl. Whoa. She said, here's delusional. I'm sitting about it right here. She said the story may sound fake. I don't think she it said, sounds this is fake. English I and I'm right here. See me in this bus. Okay, this will sound crazy, but me and my boyfriend met on Genshin Impact. We were just friends playing games and having fun. Slowly, we moved to other platforms to talk. We started on Genshin, then moved to Discord. We used to joke, flirt, and joke, marry each other in the game, but it was nothing serious. Then three months after I met him, his grandpa died. He had no one with him. Wait, why did I laugh? I wasn't laughing because it was funny. I was just, wow, okay. He had no one with him or any of that. And I was one of the very few people who was there for him. And, and that made him fall in love with me. I then slowly caught feelings and we became a thing. We still are and I still love him so very much. And we talk every day and we're meeting in a few years. <laughs> 
I used to fight with this guy, not physically fight, just academically fight. I genuinely do not like him nor his attitude, but weeks ago we had an exam and we got our results. He beat me, so I was pretty upset, but he, oh my God, he cannot stop blabbing about his results to me. Like maybe the other classmates, but mostly me. I was so annoyed and tired by him. I decided to just ignore him and avoid him for for weeks. At first I thought he didn't care, then suddenly he DM'd me. He never followed me on Insta before, saying he wanted to meet after class. I was like, hmm, sure why not, even though I hate seeing his face. Anyways, I met him and he was like, out of nowhere, why are you ignoring me? I said, what? Like genuinely confused. And he said, you ignoring and avoiding me really bothers me. I hate it. Why are you doing this? I was like, what do you mean? And he said, he misses us. <laughs> If a man that I hated asked me to, to meet up with him, I would report him to the police. Okay, well, I would simply say I this would... is the start of my enemies to lovers no. plot line, and I'm going to go with it. Girl, ignore her. She literally likes nothing, okay? She likes nothing I do. And I, like I personally money. see this as an opportunity. He sits there. He's like, he's probably sitting there at night regretting it. Maybe his grades are plummeting. He's like, oh, I just miss her. I miss us. Okay, I miss the like snide. So I miss... I miss the snide remarks we wow. would give each other. He's probably sitting in the back of class, like contemplating throwing a little wad of paper to get your okay. attention. Like, okay. no, girl, this is the perfect like, academic ride. This is that the perfect. Was definitely Shut up. So basically, last week I was at the bookstore because I've seen Fourth Wing on Book Talk a lot lately, and I wanted to read it. I luckily found it, and I saw another book that caught my attention, but it was really high up on the shelf. I didn't want to tell a worker because I was too lazy, so I, I was just gonna leave. But as I turn around, this tall brunette. Can you not um, read it normally? No, because I want to get the vibes. Okay, shut up, Maria. Tall and brunette. Like, I don't know, you just... This tall brunette. Amazing. Hey, no one said read it like that. <laughs> this tall brunette, amazing fit, is looking down at me. Let me. Oh my God, looking down. Girl, how tall is he? Ah! Let me tell you, my jaw dropped at how gorgeous this man was. He had two romance books in hand. He looks at me with a smile and goes, do you need help with that? Yes! Yes, I do! And I said, yes, please. He steps closer and grabs the book while still holding eye contact. I was blushing hard. Me too. I say thank you. And he goes, no problem, love. I was speechless. Immediately made me think of Aaron Warner. Oh, my God. We exchanged numbers, and we've been talking every day oh. since. His personality matches mine perfectly. He's so funny as well. That's actually really cute. And the fact he reads romance. Well, I don't know about the whole eye contact part. That's a little bit awkward. Like, imagine, like... That's so dreamy. Imagine, like, this. Like... Stop. This is what I imagine, right? Like, the girl. Like, you guys are the girl, right? And I'm the guy. And I like this. <laughs> No problem, love. I I can I just feel by this aura that he was British. I just kind of I just kind of know. Yeah, if you're not British, no that's kind of embarrassing. Love. No problem, love. No I'm problem, love. love. So no in a problem, British accent. Love. No problem, love. No problem, love. I had this boy that I liked. Let's call him Jake. See, we weren't dating, but we had a situation thip go situation ship <laughs> situation thip <laughs> situation thip. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. English is my first situation language. Situation thip. We had the situation thip going on. Situation <laughs> we had the situation ship Shit. thing going on. Uh, one day, another guy was flirting with me, Stop. and he kept on looking back at us, so I managed to get away from the guy who was flirting with me, and I asked my friend what Jake thought about the guy flirting with me. They were sitting in a group together, and this man says, No, nah, I'm not worried. She's mine and I'm hers. <laughs> No. And also the fact he has trust in you. That's actually such a green flag. The fact that he comes to me. Like, my heart. Don't my heart. Don't 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 the fact he was like, oh my god. Like, Why were you to touch her? Why are you talking to that man? And said he was like, no. Like, no, I know. I'm not worried about She's it. She's mine. I'm hers. Like, what? Why is your security guard? Oh my god. No, drive, they're gonna get drive, kicked drive, out. Drive, Guys, drive, funny drive, story. Drive, the drive, last time we were here. Drive. Shut up. The last time we were here, the security guard literally kicked us out. So we've been unable to film this video for like two months because we didn't have a place to film it. And I thought the security guard was gone, but girl, he came. We're going to get kicked out again. Anyways, so I enjoy I reading and I usually bring a book with me almost everywhere. That's so one day I brought a new book to school that I had just started. And my crush also did this thing where he would read the back, then go on the my... 
then go on my by saying that he could tell that I was enjoying reading. Right. <laughs> so on this specific day, he took my book and read the back and he said, when you're done with it, you should call me and tell me how you how, tell me your thoughts and how it ends. I've never been asked this before, so best believe I had the biggest smile on my face. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. Is that so hard? Like I just, money that is life changing. You just don't understand. I want someone to look at me and say, call oh, me and tell me. God, how that I don't know. So we were childhood friends, me and him, and we were not close. We see each other once four times a year because of family friends gatherings and such but we've known each other since i was two and he was seven i'm 19 now by the way so two and seven is a what five year age gap yeah. that's not bad okay well actually 19 and like 25 that's not that's, you're dumb that's okay 24. 19 and 24 okay um, like we didn't care about each other's existence and our conversations were basically about the foods at the gatherings. We haven't seen each other for more than seven years due to COVID and other situations. So I simply just forgot he existed. Oh, a week ago, my family hosts a family friend's boat ride along the river. A boat ride? Oh, dang, you guys have money. <laughs> Invite me next time. Anyways, we have a boat ride along the river in the evening and there, and there we were eating, dancing, singing, and all the fun stuff. Throughout the seven years we had made so many family friends so i didn't care who was coming i just wanted to meet people i was looking around the boat for a drink and there i suddenly met him a tall handsome guy broad shoulders staring at me with a Dang. sincere smile he was the guy from my childhood oh. he was staring at me even in a room full of people i was mm -hmm. extremely nervous the butterflies were kicking after a while i broke eye contact and continued on what i was doing he was the camera of the party. He goes around taking film pictures. Oh. One time when everyone was dancing and I was watching on the other side of the boat, clapping and cheering, I saw he was capturing me and then he looked up and smiled at me. He thought I didn't notice, laugh out loud. We didn't talk, but we knew this time that we had both noticed each other and cared about each other because there was a sudden rain so we all had to get off the boat. He stood behind me and wrapped one of his arms around my shoulder and his other arm holding his backpack. And there we ran off the stairs together. But at the last step, he let go of me and ran to the shelter because he was really shy about it. The bag did nothing. The rain still caught us, so he was watching me from the other side of the room with crowded people with a worried eye. I didn't care about the rain or getting sick. All I cared about was that it was the most heart-fluttering moment of my life. The fact that we did not talk because we were shy, but he still managed to care about me and express it by actions rather than words. Oh my god, wow. Well. thinking about that moment. I play mine by Taylor Swift whenever I drive past that river because the chorus goes... Do you remember when we were sitting there by the water? You put your arm around me for the first time. We made a rebel of a careless okay. man's careful daughter. You are the best thing that's ever been mine. So I listen to Taylor Swift, you can tell, but that's like... That, that actually, the way she warded way, it, like, like that's like kind of beautiful, no? But the whole, like, taking pictures of you, like, from afar and then, like, looking and smiling. Stockish, <laughs> I mean, so I cute. Die. Wait, what? Stockish? I've never said that. You know, there's two, you can always see things with two different bifocals. Bif bifocals. Bifocals. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this happened a few years ago. I was on a study trip in a small city in the south of England. Ugh. I just love Englanders. I just love Londoners. I just love the cheeky old British accent. I'm not gonna lie. We were in the south of England in this huge college, and there was this guy I really liked. And the whole two weeks, we were flirty towards each other. And one night, actually, the disco night, whom everyone had been waiting for, we danced together, and we were very Aww. close. And after the disco night ended, we were going back to our dorms, and I was shivering because it was cold outside, even though it was, like, mid-July. Anyways, he Lucky. took off his sweater and landed it on me and wrapped an arm around me to keep me warm. We arrived at the dorm and I gave it back to him and he took it with him. But before leaving, he said, I would have let you keep it. Oh, that's, that's kind of cute. I know this is a little bit long, but please read. You will not be dissatisfied. Okay, I'm going to make this Reddit style. So I, female 22, recently got married to the love of my life, male 24. Oh my God, okay, wait. You know, YN, I already know. Me and him were indeed the next door neighbor trope. We were so cute, I know, don't flatter me. But this is not the main focal point of the story. But buckle in, the story is crazy. When I freshly turned 21, me and my then boyfriend, now husband, visited this restaurant bar setting in order to celebrate. We kept my family festivities to the day so we could enjoy the night to ourselves. It's good to keep in mind we haven't already... We, It's good to keep in mind we have already been dating for quite some time by now. 
and this restaurant was very fancy but then again we were young at the time so i was stoked for this i'm talking michelin style restaurant michelin star restaurant big bucks were spent my boyfriend again now husband gets up to use the restroom in the meantime our server comes back with our drinks i must say i'm a bit shy so i couldn't do much as i was a, as i poured a big glass of wine i thanked the server and he left this is where the yn part comes in while my boyfriend was taking a big dump in the toilet i guess <laughs> I was left alone sipping, cutely of course, on my wine. And as I said, newly 21 year old, so I didn't have good tolerance, so I was a bit buzzed, one would say. A man approached me, he was definitely beekeeping age, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely be keeping age, not gonna lie. He politely asked about my experience at the restaurant and how the wine tasted. As I said before, a bit buzzed, so I giggled and told him I'm still waiting for my food, but the wine was spectacular. He lets out quite a laugh to my childish response. He then asked if this was my first time at the restaurant. And like I said, I'm a bit shy, so I started to get peeved because as hot as one may be, starting a random convo with someone at a restaurant is just not it. So I laugh and confirm that it's my first time and very clearly stated I was with my boyfriend who again was gone for like 10 minutes by now. My dude was having gas problems or something. The dude once again laughs and asks if he can quickly bring me to the outside part of the restaurant to show me something. I was obviously not going to leave with a random man so I politely told him that I could, I couldn't as I was waiting for my boyfriend. He then asks me again and says it would only take a minute as he wanted to introduce me to his wife as I look very sim similar to their old friend. FYI, he's lying. But I, of course, am again so shy, so I couldn't bring myself to reject him again. Girl, I know the difficulties. Anyways, um, so I got up and prayed my boyfriend would come out of the restroom and save me. We kept some small talk on the quick walk to the outside venue, mostly on his part. I was getting increasingly worried and wished to head back into my seat, but boy, was this the best decision I ever made. There was flowers littered everywhere and candles alit in a perfect heart. I could feel the tears spring to my eyes as I see my boyfriend down on one knee with the ring of my dreams in his hand. I was in total shock as I've told my boyfriend many times if I were to be proposed to, it would be in this fashion with candles and roses and all. I was crying before I even made it completely out of the doors. He only got like two words out before I pounced on him with only the words yes coming out of my mouth. The stuff clapped and laughed as some celebratory booze bottles were cracked open our dinner was all paid for and my now fian fiance took me out to the beach and again only to ask me to marry him again like more in private this was more private as it was only us two he reminded me that he's never been happier and i was the light of his life his words not mine and i could see the tears gathering in his eyes as my husband was a bit soft and often said he couldn't believe I chose him. I don't know how, I don't know how, as I could never imagine loving someone as sweet, kind, and handsome as him. This guy who approached me turned out to be the restaurant owner, and me and my boyfriend met his son at uni and found this great idea. His the the boy the, like the boyfriend husband met the son and came up with that idea. We are now expecting a new addition to the family in the form of a little girl. <laughs> The highway is delicious. The highway will be my That's new actually home. so cute. The fact that he proposed to her how he watched how she wanted. That's so Oh, the little addition to the family. Oh That was the cutest story I have ever read. This one's kinda long, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of them are kinda long. Anyways, back when I was in high school, I had this boy I liked. Let's call him Nolan. And we got introduced to each other from our mutual friends. Times passed and soon I began to develop feelings for him and we started getting more touchy in a way. Okay, whoa, whoa. Okay, anyways. We slowly kind of opened up to each other and he would say he wanted hugs. So when I saw him, <laughs> I want a hug. Give me hugs. Give me I'm a hug. I want a hug. Ew. Okay, sorry. Um, so, when I saw, so when I saw him at school, I would give him hugs. But hesitantly, give him hugs. But hesitantly oh. do it, and I would get embarrassed after. Later in the day, he would text me saying he appreciated it, and it made his day a lot better. Oh, that's kind of nice. Is that it? Um, there was another time where he was laying beside me, and I turned, and I started touching his hair, and he asked if I could braid it, and, oh, that's cute. and I said that I could. He was so handsome. He had brown curly hair, bright brown eyes that were always rested, that made him look tired all the time. Oh, I love that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the dead the look? Like the whole I have yes. a Yes. Oh, sleepy eyes. I, I sprained my neck. 
don't think that's sleepy. I think that's sleep paralysis. Ooh, that was so <laughs> unfunny. <laughs> okay, Tana, let me finish. Yes. That made him look tired all the time. A smile that would show his dimples and oh. hands that were roughed but soft and gentle. Once we graduated middle school. Middle school? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I take back everything I said. Hands that were rough. <laughs> he was a middle schooler. You're oh, okay. rough but soft. You're in middle school. Calm down. Anyways, uh, um. <laughs> He went on a trip to another country, and so did I because we're on summer break. We texted a lot and talked about what we did and what we were going to do on our on our trips. Side note, we also texted a lot before the trip, and that's how I developed my feelings. While we were texting one day, I wanted to tell him how much I liked him and how much I enjoyed having him with that's me, why. but I got scared and didn't because why would he even like me? After our summer break, we see each other at school, and I get nervous because I haven't seen him in a while, but he gave me the sweetest smile. I decided to pat his head because that was something I would always do when we saw each other. A few months passed and we're texting and the conversation leads to him saying that he liked me back in summer break, but he was too scared to tell me. Aww. When I read the message, I started blushing, screaming, and kicking my feet. I replied that I liked him too and that I also wanted to confess. We didn't start dating right away and gave each other time to think about it. One day, he sends me a message that reads along the lines of that he truly loved me and that he wanted to spend his life loving me, caring for me, and helping me throughout hard times. It made me cry and we ended up dating for a month and a half because he already... W- because he already wanted to break it off and it made me realize how much of a bad person I was in the relationship. I would always say mean things and wouldn't consider how he felt about it and I still hate myself till this day. After we broke it, right? Like, never that serious. You were like 10. You guys are 15. I want to keep loving you to the end of my days. You're a child. You're literally, okay, sorry. Um, two months passed and we started talking again as friends and we laughed about it all the time it hurt though because it seemed like he was already talking to someone new while I was still hurting girl so let me get this straight you treated him awfully and okay whatever you know whatever he then stopped talking to me again and I decided to stop talking to him because why was I chasing after someone if they didn't truly love the way they said they did years passed and I'm in college I would still think about Nolan all the time because he felt like a person I genuinely loved Holy poop, girl. I did try dating other people, but it never worked out. One day, I was walking through the city just to get fresh air, but suddenly bumped into someone knocking down all the stuff they were carrying. I panicked and immediately helped them up, and then our hands touched while trying to pick stuff up. I raised my head to look up at the person. Curly brown hair, bright brown eyes that were rested and tired. He was wearing a mask, so I couldn't see his other features. He was also wearing a turtleneck with a long blazer. Wow! I suddenly asked, do I know you? He looked shocked, and then chuckled pulled down his mask and said her name my hands went up to my mouth in shock and I said Nolan he asked if I would like to ca- come over to catch up a bit and I said yes while I was at his house he made me dinner where I would caught up with some of the things when we were done he sat by me and started saying during our time in high school I was mentally and physically unwell and had to go to the doctors every now and then to get checkups and surgery and you know that it felt like a burden I was supposed to bear, even more so because I liked you. You talked as if you'd relieve me of all that mess, and then I suddenly decided to break it off. It also took me a long time to find you, and when I heard you were living here, I decided to come here just in hopes to find that I'd find you to ask you something. Did I say something to hurt you? Because if so, just how much pain did I cause you? No matter how we've wronged each other in the past or the good intentions behind our actions, none of it matters. What matters now is that they I love in you. <laughs> he turned to me with a smile but was shocked because I looked at him with tears falling down my face. He softly smiled and wiped away my tears, grabbed my face gently with his hands and asked, can I give you something I've wanted to give you ever since the day I fell in love with you? Knowing what he meant, I closed my eyes and he softly gave me a kiss. <laughs> Oh, girl, that kind of like five. That kind of went crazy. This story was so confusing. You guys, so you fell in love. Yes, and but then, then he broke toxic. it off because you were toxic and you felt bad. But mm. then he seemed like he was talking with someone else. But then it turns out college happened and he had mental issues. And then he caught up with you and said, but "Did I hurt you?" He was the one but toxic, he, and the you guys were nice. And he said you were gonna rob him of all his. This fears. said, "I am in fact delusional," and I love that for you. He said, <laughs> "I'm the one suffering from those mental." <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's our video. Thanks so much for watching these stories. Make sure to like, subscribe. Wait, what is it? Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. Um.